Hey, this is Radio TV Phono Nut, and here's a Magnavox AM FM solid state radio from uh, 1967, I believe. It functions somewhat, but it has some problems. We'll start us out on the mumble rap station. Family. We do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. FM is pretty sensitive, but here are the issues. The tone control is inoperative, and also the band selector switch is stuck and flaky, and I've learned not to try to force stuck switches. They tend to break. So we'll have to address that issue. Trump bludgeon, Trump bludgeon. Don't forget August. But if maybe you were just nothing stops this desire to be with you. Gotta get. Here's the inside, American-made chassis using Japanese components, or some Japanese components. Dual 4x6 speakers, nice tuning condenser, hack filter capacitor replacement. And this is what you call a quick and dirty repair just to get it in, get it going, get it out the door as quick as possible, and we want to correct that. You can see where they uh, connected the replacement capacitor directly across the uh, old one which is a no-no and just electrical taped it in place we'll want to correct that now let's get it down to the bench and take it apart I think this one's pretty easy to get apart you just remove these screws around the perimeter of the case and the whole thing should just slide out the uh, front of the cabinet okay correction it slides out the back after you take all the screws off the front and a couple of fasteners off the bottom of the cabinet and just slides out. Nice chassis here, very well weight and laid out and marked where you know what components what, no guesswork. So this is one that they it was definitely designed to be serviced if it was ever needed. Now the first thing we're going to do is take care of this filter cap ordeal here. Now the reason you don't jump a good capacitor across an old one is because if the old one was to short, then that could present a problem. Uh, I know that practice was often done back in the day, but it's really just not a good idea. In fact, the other day I was looking at a record player that was for sale on eBay by one of the extremely high-priced record player restorers, the one, one of the ones that charges hundreds of dollars at the cheapest. And he was kind enough to show some uh, under-chassis pictures of his work. Uh, frankly, I'd have been ashamed to have shown that, but he had brand new single-section capacitors bridged across the old can capacitor in the record player. And if that can capacitor was to become leaky and shorted, which I've seen him do in the very make and model of record player that he had on there, then it could very well cause some serious issues and quite frankly I'd be ashamed to show pictures like that of such shoddy work but you know, if you're going to charge four or five hundred dollars for a record player your work ought to at least be professional looking and neat not just some uh, get it done and get it out of here quick and let me make a fast buck off of some unsuspecting soul who doesn't know any better alright here we go Got the mess removed. Now let's get this tape off of here that's obviously been on here a long time. Probably done back in the 70s sometime, maybe 80s, but I wouldn't think this was done any newer than the early 80s past that point. Most TV shops would have told them to throw it away and go buy a new one. Alright, what he has in here is a Sprague Atom. 50 microfarad standard 5030 at 150 like you'd see in a 5 tube radio. I'm trying to find a date code on here. 
Yeah, 701. That could either be 67 or 77, but I'm thinking more like 67. I think the ones from the 70s and later had a plastic jacket on it. This one's cardboard. But we don't know when it was actually installed. This part could have been 20 years old whenever it was installed. Now let's see what the original is supposed to be. All right, 50 at 125, 70 at 200. So I'll probably just go with a 68 and a 47 to replace those values. And the and of course the correct cap is marked on the bottom. C is your 70. B is your 50. A is common negative. And that black Nichicon cap looks like it's gotten hot and the outer paper jacket has come loose on it so we'll probably need to go ahead and change that while we're here. Okay, doesn't that look a lot neater? And here's the 200 with the shrunken up uh, paper jacket. It's basically open. 3.8 microfarad. The 100 microfarad one checked double what it should have checked. The 400 microfarad was up about 700 so these caps are pretty much all reaching the end of their road. And I traced it out, and this 200 microfarad cap that was open, it's the uh, emitter bypass capacitor for the uh, audio output transistor. So getting a good cap in there ought to enhance the volume a little bit and give it a little bit better tonal quality. There is no one well, that helped considerably, and the tone control works now. I don't think the capacitor had anything to do with that. I did clean the tone pot and resoldered the connections on the printed circuit board. In my opinion, she should be, she should be doing this. Naked with my Twitter handle running down your spine. You better. Hey, I got me and the Then it escalated into attacks on Latino journalists. It escalated into attacks on... Don't muzzle the ox while he treads out the grain. No. Speakers have got a little rattle. Derek Carr's a good human being. Okay, we're getting there, but I think we have some loose connections in the FM. An uncle of mine. Probably right here at the antenna the connector. World War II, he was underage. He lied about his age and he got into the Navy. I remember as a kid asking him, why did you do that? And I'll never forget his, his answer. He told me he knew... Did you hear how it's cutting in and out when I flex on the board? So and that it was Let me redo these antenna the leads and see if that's the problem. Okay, I've put it all back together, but it's still wanting to act up, uh, mainly on weak stations, which we're tuned to now. Stop by your local Sprint store during Sizzling Sprint Weekend, August 9th, 10th, and 11th, to learn more and check out other great deals. Now, support online registration in 60 days. I'm going to take it back out and clean the tuner a little better. And if that doesn't clear the problem up. It might even be an intermittent RF transistor. I remember one Magnavox stereo that I fixed a couple of years ago that was two or three years older than this radio, and it was doing something similar, and it turned out to be an intermittent RF amplifier transistor. So wouldn't that be something if we ran into it again?
experience you're looking for. It doesn't turn a chapter here in Jackson. This is one of those um, situations that can be uh, kind of tricky to straighten chapter. out. And I do an event in Tupelo that we'll on, talk about later. I wiggle on this um, can. He's calling me. I'm involved with the chapter with down here. But Purple Heart Homes is doing great things to help veterans. He's doing great things to help veterans. I don't know. Veterans. And joining you Not also showing me nothing. Who Lori. cares? She is one of the recipients of the restoration anyway, that can be provided through Purple Heart this Homes. This can be kind of well, tricky to straighten out. Thank you. How are you doing? A bad solder connection anywhere on the board. How are you today? I'm not going to complain. By flexing first and anything, so for your service. But will you share with us when I move this can? Purple Heart Homes. You can hear it going okay, crazy. I'm connected with them. Um, it first started with uh, the lead base. I had signed up for a lead base. So I'm going to have to pull um, this back apart, unfortunately, and, and move some more remove lead from the probing. And a lot of times, you just have to just shotgun solder connections until you find the right one. And I learned that from my TV repair days. Uh, I remember one time someone gave me a Curtis Mathis 19-inch color set that had been to another shop, and they had re-soldered everything in it, and it still had an intermittent problem. They took it to a friend of mine. He couldn't fix it. I think they just gave it to him after that. He gave it to me. I played with it a while. I couldn't fix it. I gave it to a friend of mine to use as his basement TV. He said, I don't care if it messes up every now and then. I'll just give it a good whack. And he did that for a couple of years and gave me the TV back. And I said, I'm determined. I'm going to find out what's wrong with his TV. Well, it ended up being an intermittent IC socket. And cleaning it didn't do any good. It just had an intermittent contact. So I just took all of the socketed mounted ICs out, hard soldered them to the printed circuit board, and the problem was solved. Now, granted, this radio doesn't have any socketed I socketed ICs or transistors, but it just just a little example of how an intermittent problem is not always a bad solder connection. It can be an intermittent component. Or it can be an intermittent socket that a component plugs into. Well, isn't this nice? I go over the circuit board or go over the parts that would affect FM, and now FM is totally silent. AM's fine, but FM is totally dead. Maybe I should have just left it alone. And this is the kind of stuff that makes me just want to take the radio and throw it out in the yard. I found a little solder connection that I bridged on one of these coils here. However, my soldering didn't help anything. Talk.fm at any time. We hope you always keep your dial on your local Super Talk Mississippi radio station. See, these kind of problems can be difficult because it seems like no matter where you tap on the board. But if you would like, you can always check in now what's going on during good things. We are live and in HD. Just take your browser over to supertalktv.com. It out. You'll see I still have my guest here. Well, I think I may have fixed it. I'm going to beat on it and play with it in a little while before I pronounce it fixed. Okay, putting my thinking cap on, I noticed when it was cutting out, it wasn't cutting out all the way. And even though I soldered all this over here, I was thinking that if any of this was intermittent, it'd kill it completely. So I was thinking the trouble had to be up here somewhere in the front end. So I placed my screwdriver on this terminal of this trimmer here that's on the FM front end of the tuning capacitor, and the signal came in loud and clear with no intermittent cutout, which told me that the trouble must be somewhere in this front end where the antenna comes in somewhere. Now I know I resoldered all that. But what happens, our FM antenna comes in here through this isolation capacitor and comes down through this link here. 
and you can already see what happened. Uh, even though I soldered this, I checked it with my meter, and it was very erratic from here to here. And then I moved back from here to here, and it was still erratic. So that told me that this trace has somehow been compromised, even though I can't see it. Which, with me, I mean, you know, it would be kind of hard for me to see anyway. But anyway, I just jumped across this trace with a jumper, and it appears to be fixed. Now, in a fit of rage, before I did all that, I did a no-no hose down the tuner with contact cleaner which I'm not saying it didn't need it but when you do that that affects the alignment so when I let it dry I'm gonna have to touch it up a little bit really the only thing that seems to be off is the uh, oscillator the rest of it seems to be okay the oscillator is a tad bit off so after it dissolves I'll touch it up a little bit and we'll put it back together and and hope it's a done deal. Alright, we're back together and the alignment sort of fell back into into place after all the cleaner evaporated. Long term impact of these raids on a local community. How do you even the words that follow are learning to hold every you study his life all the way through to the end of the book. Now, pretty much in my area, 88.1 is public radio. Everything, for the exception of public radio, everything below 95.1 is our, our religious stations. That will take you to this organization that today and to put him in a possession. It's seven time down, and the one I'm running to. Hi, K Love. Yes, Randy. I want to know. Ah, cause baby don't give a f what you do. I'll be fixing the. Now this radio has a unusually loud audio amp in it. In fact, if you're listening to a weaker station and fail to turn it down before tuning to a stronger station, it'll blow you out of the room. In fact, it'll be so loud it's distorted, so you want to be careful with that. And You might ask, why do they design a radio that way? Well, you got to remember back in the 60s when this was made, there were, there were not blowtorch FM stations on every street corner. Back then, the nearest FM station might have been 30, 40, 50 miles away or more, so so this was really designed to bring those in. You want that last year? Huh. 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 and the lessons that were learned at test at doihaveprediabetes.org. From The Root on Wednesday, former San Francisco 49ers quarterback. You get the no contact advantage, unlimited The main thing I don't like about this radio is you can't switch the AFC off. If I could switch the AFC off, then I could probably get some weaker stations, but of course I guess I could go in and disable the circuit, but I'm not going to go to all that effort. <laughs> And that's 
see it for FM. Both covered, and there's so much. Get ready, Greater Jackson area. The big one, the Great Southern Gun and Knife Show, is coming for two big days only at the... Right here on the legendary 1290 WNBN. I also find it odd that this radio has no dial light. I figure they went to an effort for a dual speakers and a decent chassis. Why didn't they put a dial light in here? not quite late enough to get much DX. And Spend Wisely, Junior's Adventures is a set of six colorful books that teaches value. Said, well, lost a step, not good enough to start for them. Why would I hire him if all of them... Okay, we're really not going to get much AM right now, but... Working good. Your good news gospel radio in Meridian, Mississippi. Uh, the mumble rap station. Friday and Saturday only. Target's got 30% off rainbow flare beans. The FM antennas in the line cord. Sadly, the Teen Choice Awards. So if you want to see Blanco Brown do it live. Watch the dance. Do the dance with your lips. If you're a 50-year-old... All right, there you go. The Magnavox Radio lives on. <laughs> 